Hi there, this is Kate at Computer Care Kelowna, and uh, today I want to talk to you about how to resize and send photos using Outlook.com, which is the website for your Hotmail, Outlook.com mail, uh, Live.com mail. The reason that this comes up is because uh, it's now May of 2016, and starting at the end of June of 2016, Microsoft will stop supporting the use of the Windows Live Mail email program on your computer to collect your Hotmail, Outlook.mail, Live.com mail. Now, all of those email types are web-based, just like Gmail and Yahoo Mail, and they were actually always intended uh, to be used in a browser. They were never intended to be downloaded to your computer with an email program like Windows Live Mail. I know people like to do it, and I was very confused about why, but a lot of my customers have told me that the reason why is because it's easy to send pictures using Windows Live Mail. It resizes them, and then it sends them, and it's easy. I just want to show you because there is no going back after the end of June. No matter how much you want it to, it's not going to work that way with those accounts. So I want to show you how to use Outlook.com to send pictures and a little free or really donationware program called Image Resizer that will let you resize them to a reasonable size and send them easily. The world is not going to come to an end. This is really easy. You're really going to like it, I promise. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is sign in to our Microsoft email account. So if you have Hotmail, if you have Outlook.com, if you have Live.com, or some people still have MSN.com, go to the website and sign into it. I'm signed into mine right now. Okay, next thing we need to do, and we only need to do this one time, is get the Image Resizer program. Um, there's a lot of programs out there that purport to do what this program does, but they tend to be also loaded with crapware. This is a completely clean download from this site. So go to this site uh, and then you can see the purple download button, download the program and install it. And if you find that you're using it all the time, as I do, think about donating to the guy. I mean, it's his time and energy that wrote it. Once you have that program installed, you're ready to resize and send. So you just want to go to your pictures and uh, I have a folder here that I've set up for this demo. And I have a picture here, uh, some really nice petunias. And if I go to Properties, uh, you can see that it's quite a large file size. It's not polite to send that file size to somebody who may or may not be able to receive it without their computer or their internet connection choking. So we just want to resize it. And we can now do that because we've installed that program by right-clicking on it. And you see that we now have an option to resize. Just click on that. And we have now opened up our resize picture. I'm just going to pick medium here. And then I'm going to hit resize. It's not going to take away the original one. It's just going to put one called medium in the same folder. So you can see here now we're down to 263 kilobytes <laughs> rather than 1.29 megabytes. Big difference but when you look at it on a computer screen you, you really can't tell the difference. So now just go to your outlook.com window Send a new message. Uh, 
I'm going to send it to my business address. Um, I'll just type a little subject and a little message. Whoops, I got to type it. All right, now I just, here's my picture. I just click and drag it into my email. It is literally that simple. Now I hit send. And it's sent. That, that is all there is to it. And you should know that when you need to resize a whole bunch of pictures, select every picture that you want to resize, then one time right click on them, pick the size you want, they have to all be the same size that you're resizing to, and hit resize. And now you've got a whole bunch of them and you can put them in your email and send it. So the world is not coming to an end because Microsoft will no longer be supporting Windows Live Mail program and their web-based mail service. Just sign in on the web to your Microsoft Mail account, get to know it, send yourself some test pictures, and I think you're, you're going to find it's just different, but it's just as easy as the other way was. It's really, really easy. So enjoy yourself, play with it, have a good time. If it can help you with your computers at all, or your local network, or your iPads, or your printers, give us a shout here at 250-764-7043 in beautiful Kelowna, B.C. Thanks.